Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mass Planner video tutorial. On this video, we are going to talk about the Mass Planner contact tool. This is actually a continuation of the Facebook contact tool video tutorial. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you do that before you watch this video. The reason why I tell you that is because on this video, we are just going to take a quick look on the contact tool for the other social platforms where this tool is available. The Facebook contact tool is a more detailed video. So in order for you to follow this tutorial, you need to watch that video first. Just a quick reminder guys, the contact tool is an extra module, so you need to purchase the extra module if you want to use this. And it's only available for Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. With that being said, let's start with the contact tool for Google+. As you can see from your screen, the contact tool for Google Plus has three sub-tabs. You have the extract members, use members, and send messages. If you've seen the video tutorial for Facebook contact tool, this is how it looks like. It has the extract members, use members, friend requests, and send messages. So the only difference is it doesn't have the friend request sub-tab in the Google Plus contact tool. All the other tabs that you see on your screen work the exact same way as it does on the Facebook contact tool. So with extract members, you just add the profile URL where you want extract members from and then you click extract and the tool is going to extract members from that URL. And then you also have here the scroll, the search page for a certain number of seconds. Now the trick here is the bigger the seconds that you indicate here, the more members it's going to extract. And then once it gets extracted, you will see how many members got extracted and it's going to send it to the Use Members tab. From here, you get to select the members that you want to send message to. You can select them one by one or you can choose to select all. And then you see here the send messages. You just have to enter the message that you want to send the members. We recommend that you use spin syntax so each message will be unique and you can also use tokens especially the first name token so that the messages will be more personal and then you can remove selected members from the list after clicking send or ignore members who already received the message and then you click send and it's gonna put it here on the send messages you just configure the settings you have the wait between timer for each new operation and the number of members you are going to send a message to per day then you get to pick a random member instead of the first one on the list below if you don't want to do that you just leave it unchecked and you start the tool now the results will be displayed on the tables below all the pending messages will be under pending sent message and all the successful ones will be under results so that is all for the Google Plus contact tool let's now take a look at the Twitter contact tool. So from here you will see the same tabs. You have extract members, use members, and send messages except for send message to new followers. We are going to come back to this later on. For extract members it works the same way and you will see here the sample URLs that you can extract members from and then just same process you extract the members and you indicate the number of seconds it's gonna send it to the use members where you can select the members or select all write your message use spin syntax or add a token and you can also remove selected members or ignore members and then send message it's gonna send it to send messages configure the settings and start the tool Again, you will see the progress from the table below. You will see the pending messages and the ones that were sent. Now let's go to the send message to new followers. If you want to send a message to new followers, you can enable this tool. And also this tool works independently from the three sub-tabs. So you don't need to have this tool working to make this one run. You can automatically send messages to your new followers. You enable this option, put in the message here, and you have an option to prioritize messages for new followers. What this does is, in case you have the other tool running, where you've extracted the members and you're trying to send messages to those members. Before it sends messages to those members, it is going to send a message first to your new followers. And then you have here the refresh timer. It, it is going to refresh your Twitter account to see the new followers and 
you can indicate the number of minutes that the tool is going to refresh the list of your new followers to send messages to. That is how the Twitter contact tool works. Last but not the least, let's look at the Instagram contact tool. Again, you will see the three sub-tabs that we've seen on all the other contact tools. You have extract followers, use followers, send messages. For extract followers, you just extract followers and again, you indicate the number of seconds that the tool is going to scroll the page. Then you go to use followers because it's going to send extracted followers here. Then you can choose the followers to whom you want to send the message to and you use spin syntax and tokens. Now, if you noticed, you have here the camera icon. The reason for this is because, you know, Instagram is a photo sharing social networking site. So you can add photos to the message that you want to send to your followers and then you can choose to remove selected followers from the list after clicking send and ignore followers. You click send, it's going to send it to the send messages. You configure the settings. You can also pick a random member instead of the first one on the list. Start the tool and the results will be displayed here. So that is how the Instagram contact tool works. That's all for today. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.